Hello everybody, this is 401 Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8, and today it's this thing again, only there's one important change to it. You're already noticing a lot of it as is. Now if this isn't hint enough, <laughs> then let me just explain it to you. It's in 1.7. It's in 1.7.10, technically, but should t work about the same in 1.7.9. The only difference between 9 and 10 is that 1 was supposed to be, uh, well, 1.7.10 was basically for the whole realm stuff. It was to, like, make something work better for realms, I guess. Um, anyways, there's a... F there's a number of changes. For example, I switched out uh, the red sandstone with a. You know, I really don't use these blocks often. Stone slabs. Like, if that's not a sign, I don't know what it is. I swapped out um, the prismarine with uh, other forms of bluer blocks. Like, light blue wool, uh, cyan wool, and for this trim up here, I swapped out the gold for iron. Now, I know gold, yeah, gold is still part of it, this version, for sure, but someone did mention that it would be easier on the eyes to swap out the gold for iron, and I actually have to agree with that. However, I don't want to swap out all the gold with iron. But yeah, there is a lot of changes to this. Um, and we no longer have barrier blocks, so yeah, this could be past the room, but it's highly recommended to not jump around on it because once you're in there, getting out is going to be a pain unless you have ender pearls. But yeah, most of the hints for like finding stuff is basically the same as the 1.8 version. So yeah, that's that's a good thing. Not much, not too much has changed. But I did have to rework some stuff. Like I no longer have banners, so I had to replace them with uh, paintings. <clears throat> but the thing is, I can't uh, use paintings like specific paintings for stuff to just toss into whatever about to like unlock things like the unlockables like the um, the sword of senders the sender sword and then something else you also notice about being different is there is a few more pillars about now that's because with like how much has been uh difference to like kind of make up for some of it with uh how freaking bright it mostly is i added a bit of more like sort of tracings around certain parts in the ceiling and i also brought down a few pillars as like more of supports to the ceiling and roofing and a number of locations Mostly more memorable locations. Like, if it's not memorable enough, I, I wouldn't have done it. It would have been too difficult to do. But yeah, <clears throat> I traced a number of things over with obsidian. Like, this and that, and I even added this in. I just it just sort of came into mind to toss something right there, so I put it there. I didn't really change where um, the kinds of places you can go, but I did do a little bit more to like lighting in certain locations, like say over there. Um, I also added a little more lighting to that to make it stand out a little more. Just simple, small, subtle stuff has really changed. Uh, and I made sure that all the blocks were 1.7 accessible. And of course, uh, 
I had to, like, make sure, like, my subtle hints were basically there again. Without it being, like, too out there and a little less obvious. Like, I have designated paintings for designated stuff, so that's basically a hint. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a shame to not have some of those 1.8 blocks anymore, but what are you going to do, right? Yeah, there is a number of changes, but whether for better or for worse, it, they're there. Like, some of them, I will say, actually kind of are better. But I kind of miss some of the prismarine colors already. I miss the sea lanterns, uh, and one of my bigger misses... Iron trapdoors. I would use them to make these look a little more connected and such. They're not there anymore. Anyway. That is like basically all I have for real disappointments in this, but <laughs> other than that, it's it's doing a lot better. It's with all these extra pillars, it feels a little less extra roomy, like it feels a little more space consumed. And I finally did that thing where I wanted this to be basically held in the place by hanging from the ceiling. Like, this was a thing I kind of wanted done. I told a couple people about it. Uh, yeah. That's basically done. It looks pretty cool. Like, I think it turned out pretty neat. It was a neat idea, to be sure. And, and I basically made it kind of chain-like, but not really chains. I think it has a pretty neat feel to it. Oh, I just realized I... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that doesn't matter. But yeah. That's basically most of what's different... Like, it looks pretty good still. It Nothing's too bad. I think the cyan wool is actually a good pick for, like, for, like, migrating uh, color to, into the roof in place. I guess not too bad. It's still a little bright to me because I'm so used to the uh, prismarine. Like, the dark prismarine, like, Dark Prismarine was amazing, actually, for this. I really enjoyed the Dark Prismarine. I still have my owl buddy. My pet owl here. To clarify, I don't have a real pet owl in life. But, uh, just because people kept calling me a wizard and stuff, like, here I built an owl. He's blind! <laughs> <laughs> oh well. It's fine. He really didn't need those eyes. And yeah, in the conversion, there was a lot of stuff that <laughs> kind of needed some storing over, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it was pretty crazy at first because, like, literally all inventory based things needed fixing. And then, of course, there was, like, every painting, every, um, item frame basically popped off and, like, committed seppuku. So, yeah, it was one hell of a thing. <laughs> but, anyways, before I drag this on for too much, I think think that I'm going to end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you check it out. This will be available at the uh, previous link, download link location for the Temple of Ionites. Basically, it's going to be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you check it out. And...
Have a good day. Bye-bye.